everyone um, Nick uh, has encouraged me to try and do a vlog of the first time that I'm ever using uh, Sisyphus and Hermes by myself so I'll be taking my van into town because I've got to pay a check in and um, Santander is shit and don't have a fucking check paying system hey Jess BC do too do so you know you can take a photograph fucking Santander but there you go so I have um, had a bit of a hiccup coming into the uh, van hence it hasn't been recorded but I am uh, in my van in Sisyphus and uh, I'm just going to show you how I uh, how I get into my van really so now that I am in my wheelchair I've um, Sisyphus I've got to really transfer this is my driving seat it moves forward and backwards and up and down but yeah so um, it goes up down towards right left that kind of thing so I'll show you how I transfer basically so I lean on each one of these, slide over having lifted my arm up and then here comes the clever bit, I'll just prop that up there. So this one, this one twists around so if I had a problem and I needed to twist more towards my wheelchair, it's a nice camera panning angle, it's nice and smooth because it's uh, not me. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that's, uh, so that one moves from side to side as you can see from the wheelchair. Oh. And then we have one that rises slightly. So lowers. That's the lower one. I think it's at the max height, actually. Yeah, max height. <laughs> That's how tall I am. And then you've got the one that goes forward. Sounds a bit, but mechanics for you. It's not exactly fast. Nothing in a wheelchair is exactly fast, but we get there in the end. Sorry if I sound a bit weird. I'm really hot and I need to get a drink. So in a minute, once I've got to my uh, spot, so that's perfect. So then I'm going to prop up there and there while I have a drink. So yeah, once I've done that, I then make sure I can reach my drink. God, where do I put my fucking drink? So I'll put my seatbelt on. Off we go. Right, just to make it easier so that I'm paying attention to my driving because it's just me, I shall see you on the other side. Right, so I have made it to the town in one place. I've parked up my car and it is actually in properly in a space. Oh, did a rhyme, didn't even know it. But no, I'm here in town, so I'll point my blue badge out. And yeah, time to transfer. I keep on having to remember there's two bits to my key here and I haven't quite started. I haven't quite got a key ring for it yet because it's one of those funny ones so I'm going to have to get a pouch or something for it. So it's uh, it's one of the things I'm going to have to figure out. So here I go. S slow but you know what I can't complain actually it's pretty clever. transferring that much easier. So if I put my bag on the back of there, just so that works. And then the chairs. The chairs. Uh, I mean that I can transfer. Sorry, you didn't get the best camera view. and it gets the ram down. Rather clever stuff, I have to say. I'm in love. I also hate the fact I need to use it, but I'm in love. So I'll just reverse out. Oh, sorry, I remember my hair's very big now, so I've got to watch out that I don't. Take my hair off, and then you just press the down button. It's quite a smooth ride, actually. Probably the best camera angles you're getting. <laughs> or camera smoothness. Oh look, I never noticed that. It's got lights. Oh. So then, reverse that. And up it goes. Oh, 
so clever. And closes all doors. So clever. And then I've just got to lock the bloody thing. Right, we're off. because it's very busy in town and I don't want to catch the coronavirus. I mean, if I catch it, I'm a high risk patient as I've got asthma, so I'm more likely to die. So let's not play that game, shall we? Mad Max, sexy look. <laughs> See, I'm trying to go for the post-apocalyptic Mad Max 5 look. Almost at the bank. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. It's always the way, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, why well, you say is there, there is always one and it always seems to be me. Would you mind helping me actually? I'd really appreciate that because then that saves me having to I'm just manoeuvring. I just need to pay some checks in. Thank you. Yeah, it just gives me a bit more bit more wiggle room that way. Uh, yeah, no, that's perfect. Yeah, no, that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Do you know what? It's my first ever time doing dreads, and my friend was like, "Do something different because I don't have the guts for it." And I was like, "Yeah, go on then, I'll try it." My dad's my dad's old school, so he's a bit um yeah he, he prefers uh, he prefers me just being his little girl. So uh, a little bit of a difference. Well, does a bless him. He's like seventy odd, so he's still yeah. So to be fair, he's kind of used to the old school stuff. So yeah, dreads weren't really something he imagined in my future. But there you go. <laughs> I was like, tough daddy, I like it, so it's, it's, sti it's staying, so you may as well get used to it now. <laughs> I'm just bit the fact that I've got my uh, my car now, because I've been waiting for a car to get this in. Oh, so this okay. is the first time I've actually managed to get into town oh, by gosh. myself. Hello, my lovely, how are you? Not too bad, thank you, not too bad. Um, I tried putting this into the deposit thing, but it doesn't seem to like my check for some reason. <laughs> Thank you. All I can say is I'm incredibly lucky that I've got some um, a good partner and, 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 and good friends because otherwise I'd have been stuck a couple of times. So they've been an absolute lifesaver, I have to say. But, um, no, that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, do you know what? It's nice to actually... So, yeah, it's nice to actually be back out and about. It's been such a long time since I've been able to get out. And uh, do you know what? It's actually nice to see other people. <sighs> well, take care, my darling. Have a wonderful day. Brilliant. Thank you so much for that. The third time is the truth, apparently. <laughs> take care, my lovely. And have a wonderful day, won't you? Mission successful. Not that many people wearing masks either, to be honest. First time out in a while. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's it, isn't it? You've got two choices. You can either moan about it or get on with it. People are horrible. Actually, do you know what? I've had actual people, like, literally, be, like, swear at me because I'm asking to get past, and I don't understand. I had a market stall guy who was, like, really rude to me and obnoxious, and all I wanted to do was get him to move his van so I could go into shoe zone. And it was, like, two-minute job, and but he wouldn't do it because yeah. apparently I'm not enough of a person to care about. And you think, oh, no, I don't get it anymore. You know, I really... Like it well, you'd have respect, wouldn't you? Yeah, I do that. I'd let people go. No, but do you know what? It's very rare you even hear anyone say bloody thank you these days or a hello or anything. Never mind anything else. It's really sad. This virus has taught me that it, it's really solidified who are the arseholes and who are the good people. Do you know what I mean? It's sometimes you get the kind of like, well, they can be, but now you're like, no, actually, they're just arseholes and I gave them a bit too much leeway. That's what that is. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think things like this do bring out people's true colours yeah, and how people think because people they, they think they're reasonable people and they think they're like genuine people but actually when it comes to it and their inconvenience yeah. people get really aggressive about it I mean I, in Nottingham I had it where um, a guy once threatened to stab me because I was in the disabled spot because he had a pram and I was like well I, I can't sit on your bloody knee you can fold the pram up mate oh wait, I had to wait five buses to get to that bloody pram as well all the, all the wheelchair spaces have been taken up by push chairs and they only have one space on buses they only have two on uh, trains. Yeah. yeah, you have to book 24 hours in advance if you want to. Okay, and I need at least 24 hours notice, otherwise I can't get on. Thank you. Well, take care, my darling. Nikki, have a wonderful day, won't you? Oh, thank you, you too.
Well, you've had some hard day nonetheless. Oh. Take care, my darling. Oh, what a lovely lady. See, this is what I find. You know what? Most people are 100% reasonable and I don't get why people are so rude to people in shops because you know what? They're doing their job and they have to work damn fucking hard. Not only do they have to work damn fucking hard, but they have to put up with arseholes. So, do you know what? Taking time out of your day to ask how someone is, is a fucking basic human decency that we seem to have forgotten. But do you know what? It's people like Nikki, that lovely Nikki, and people like the ladies in the bank, good to see them again if you remember me make a difference because they care it's just sad that it's an exception rather than the rule so i've got something to give me a bit of energy because i'm feeling a bit um what's the word flagging a bit Doc, my I really fucking hope that most people are reasonable people. But you know what I've just fucking watched? I've just watched some lazy fucking bitch buy some shopping and put the fucking shopping trolley in a disabled parking space so that us cripples cannot get in. Fuck's sake. Learn to be respectful and considerate of other people, you prick. Two fucking, two trolleys in a disabled parking space where some prick's just been a lazy fuck. Unnecessary. Why? 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 So I am back in the car. I'm bloody knackered. Um, I'm probably going to just go home and um, try and finish this up. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I think I might just go home and rest because I'm a bit tired. So uh, that's what it's like on my first journey. I shall uh, show you the mechanism properly when we get back, if I remember. <laughs> if not, thanks for watching my uh, solo journey. And uh, have a good day. Take care, everyone.